Hey guys, what is up? Hope you're having a great day. Today we're gonna to see Pierce Morgan. Uh, it's rank hypocrisy. Pierce Morgan slams woke Medgala's double standards. I've seen the the not seen it, but I've talked about the Medgala. It was stupid, stupid thing that you will ever see in your entire entirety of your life because the people without. Like they don't have any problems, you know, like maybe they don't have any problems like real real problems. They just show up and dress like that and yeah, it's just seeking attention, you know, seeking attention. And I hate that. I hate that, you know, but just see where what Pierce has to say about that. Let's go. Good evening from London. Welcome to Piers Morgan Uncensored. Hollywood loves nothing more than telling the rest of us how we should live and how we should think. It's heavy on the preach, light on the practice. This week, stars and supermodels flew in on private jets, taking a very well-earned break from hectorings about their carbon footprint. Attention to the detail for the Met Gala in New York and what is now routinely a nauseating annual romp of tone-deaf extravagance became a glistening exhibition of Hollywood hypocrisy. Yeah. The whole event was billed as a tribute to the late fashion oh, no. Karl Lagerfeld. Oh, no. Indisputably, one of the I hate this one. Designers, a visitor from outer space would be forgiven for thinking he was some kind of hybrid non-binary fusion. Oh, this one. This one. This one, guys. This one is the stupidest one ever. This is the, the stupidest thing that I ever seen in my entirety all my life. This one. This one. Oh, my God. Mandela by the time this lot had finished the other night. But let's compare and contrast some of Lagerfeld's opinions with those peddled by the stars oozing their tributes to him on the red carpet. What Here's is Margot this? Robbie. This is actually, uh, yeah, this um, dress was worn by Cindy Crawford in 1993. Oh, wow. They remade it for me, and it's uh, obviously a Carl design, and I feel really great in it, actually. It's incredible. Obviously, the Met's always an exciting mm -hmm. night, but I had the great privilege of getting to know Carl to an extent. I was the last Chanel ambassador that he picked. What an honor. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it is an honor. Now, nobody bows uh, in admiration more to Margot Robbie than me, one of the great actresses in the world right yeah. now. And a lovely lady. Yeah, yeah. I've met her a couple of times. But that's the same Margot Robbie who's a vocal advocate for gay marriage, famously wearing a pro-gay marriage T-shirt for an appearance on Saturday Night Live. Okay. I've got no issue with that, obviously. Yeah. But Lagerfeld did. I'm against gay marriage, he told Vice magazine. The same year, before launching a stunning broadside against gay parents adopting children. Whoa. Surely some mistake, Margot. Whoa. And then there was Jared Leto, dressed up as oh. a cat in homage, oh, no. apparently, to Karl Lagerfeld's beloved pet. And yet here is Mr. Leto in 2015, giving an impassioned speech about refugees of the Syrian crisis. Oh, no. 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 Guys? Guys, I am a Syrian. I'm Syrian, okay? I'm not a refugee, okay? I, I live in currently in Syria. I didn't know that this is gonna happen, but... Dude, Jared, thread carefully, okay? By the way, many of us here are the sons and the daughters okay. of immigrants. Yeah? Yeah. And Steve Jobs, the son of a Syrian immigrant. Okay. Very moving. Okay. Very audible. But what about his hero, Karl Lagerfeld? Well, in a shocking interview on the same refugee crisis, he evoked the Holocaust to attack former German Chancellor Angela Merkel for taking in too many refugees from Syria, or the enemy of the Jewish people, as he effectively called them. What? The list of the double standard goes on. Kim. Oh no 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 no! You didn't no no. I need I need to hear that again. Come again. Come again. You both. Merkel for taking in too many refugees from Syria, or the enemy of the Jewish people, as he effectively called them. Oh Jared. Oh Jared. Oh Jared. This is. This is so much hypocrisy. Oh, he is a hypocrite. Oh. By the way, I liked him. I liked I liked what he I liked his band. I liked everything about him. 
I really, I really did. I liked Jared Leto. I, I liked his band. I liked his movies. But dude, you can't say that. Dude, you can't say that. We are not the enemy. You're, you, we are not the enemy of anybody. By the way, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, it's, I, I, I'm disappointed. Do you, do you like, oh, I, I, I'm smiling, but no, I'm disappointed. Wow. Like, it's like, it's almost my idol. You know, it's almost my idol, but to, 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 to hear him, oh, you're a disappointment, man. Oh my God. I know he's, he has a very good voice. He has a very big, he, he's good actor. But no, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not going to speak more. Yeah, I yeah, just like that. Just roll the video. The list of the double standard goes on. Kim Kardashian joined the sycophantic parade. Of course she did. She of course, yeah. Paper envelope. But despite Lagerfeld saying she was to blame for a robbery that she suffered in Paris because she flaunts her wealth on Instagram. He literally victim blamed her, but she forgave him because she gets a chance to wear a nice dress in a tribute to Karl Lagerfeld and be the center of media attention, which is really what she loves doing most. Never mind the hypocrisy. And then there's my old friend Emily Barachowski, a vocal body positivity advocate and lioness of the Me Too movement, who appeared to have forgotten that Lagerfeld once described curvy women as fat mummies and said models should expect to be groped. This is the same ridiculous hypocrisy that leads to fugitive pedophile Roman Polanski bagging an Oscar and a standing ovation after his conviction, an ovation led by Meryl Streep, while the rest of us are just invited to forget about it. Uh -huh. Now, I've had many run-ins with the British actress and activist Jamila Jamil. She can be incredibly irritating, and she would say exactly the same thing about me. But today she wrote this in response to the Met Gala. This isn't about cancel culture. It's not even about Carl. It's about showing how selective cancel culture is within liberal politics in the yeah, most blatant course. way so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about showing why people <laughs> don't trust liberals because of slippery double standards like this. Well, for possibly the first time ever, maybe the only time ever, I agree with her. <laughs> She's right. Yeah. If you're going to use your positions of privilege to preach woke morality for the minions back home, yeah. you should start by practicing yourselves and yeah. maybe avoid treating as your hero somebody whose opinions are the complete opposite to everything you preach yeah 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 he's totally right but oh my god jared leto you are the disappointment of this video you are the disappointment of this video oh uh, no oh okay okay i i we need to, to get 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 out okay we know the double standards it's it's uh it's uh well what do you call it it's well printed in our skins and i think all these people went to the met just because they want to seek attention they want the publicity, they want to feel good, they want the likes, they want a couple pictures, they want to show what they have. Yeah, pretty, pretty much, what do you call it, uh, superficial, you know? And um, I don't think that you can... Um, those people, their, appoint, their opinions, that doesn't, doesn't matter. You know why? Because they are superficial, they will be with you if your cause it will like will help them grow. And they will be against you if their cause it will grow to be against you. You know, so those people they don't matter. Their opinion, their existence, they are. I'm gonna tell you who they are. These people are not just people. These people are, uh, I don't want to say it, but they are here to entertain us, us, the people that are really, really matter, that they are thinkers, they are, they are uh, doers in, the, in this world, 
those people they don't matter they didn't they just did some kind of movie so they appeared in some kind of movie they they, they appear in some kind of uh, uh what do you call it a show a sex tape yeah these people these are the people they don't they they like come on come on i'm gonna tell you right now can you get an advice from like somebody like like kim kardashian can you get advice from that she's only famous because she fucked somebody that's it yeah you get like some like like just uh like this is the the, the the girl with 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 the supermodel i don't know what i know her name can you get advice from her she's only famous because she's beautiful that's it and she's she's only saying these because this is what she thought about it that is her thought about it you have like just create your own thoughts and just deal with it okay that's it by the way i'm not really offended by jared but i'm disappointed because <clears throat> you cannot be double standard okay if you want if you are against us just be against us that's that's good that's good man that's good okay you are an american america is against us that's good like you should be with your country of course yeah yeah i'm totally fine with it but don't be a double standard don't do that don't do that because your credibility credibility it's gonna be okay if you did that double standard you're gonna do that again you're gonna do that again and again and again again, and again. so you you are a liar yeah you know so why should i believe you if you did anything or you said anything in the future your credibility is gonna be awful yeah so yeah that's it anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do subscribe leave a like i'm gonna see you in the next video thank you guys so much for watching bye